Okay, welcome back. We are working our way through the Microsoft Official Academic Course Lab Manual, installing and configuring Windows 10 in preparation for exam 70-698. This video we will start on Lab 3, configuring devices and device drivers. There are two machines we need to have up and running for this particular lab, and that's going to be our domain controller and our CL1, which is our first Windows 10 Enterprise machines. So I have them both booting up. I'll go ahead and pause and wait for them. I'll have a sign in. Uh, when you do sign in, make sure you are signing in as a datum slash administrator. Okay, so right now it's going to try and it wants me to log in just as admin. This is just admin for the machine and does not count as admin on the network. I want the, I want to be on the network, so I'm going to click on other user and the datum slash Here's our domain controller. Okay, so we want to log on as a datum slash administrator on our domain controller. Okay, we're going to click on there. And now I'm going to go ahead and minimize our domain controller. And now we're back to our CL1, which is our Windows 10. And then password. Let's try it this way. See, that's the problem. I try putting in just administrator. You see how it just logs me into the local machine? That's not what I want. So now if I put a datum first and then the slash and then administrator, you'll see it says sign into a datum. It's one of the most common mistakes I see students make. They can't do something in the lab is because they didn't log in um, onto the network. Okay, now that we are booted up, we're on the CO1, which is Windows 10. And we're going to right click under our Windows icon. We want to get into disk management, so I'm going to click on left click disk management and we don't want to initialize these so we're going to go ahead and click on cancel And we want to go ahead and click on Action and then Create VHD. In the location, we're going to type in C colon backslash Win 10 VHDA. And we want to specify 20 gig.
And if you're required to do so, this is where you would take your screenshot. And we want to do dynamic, I'm sorry, do dynamically expanding first and then do your screenshot. And then go ahead and do OK. Now this is the And expand this. Disk 5, we want to right click, I'm sorry, left click here, right click, and then initialize disk. And then OK. Okay, now that it's been initialized, we're going to go ahead and right click and new simple volume. Next, next, the assigned drive letter has come up. And if it's stored for a special lab, this drive letter will be assigned to the drive, and by default, it's going to be D. So we're going to go ahead and take the default and click on next. On the format partition page, what is the default file system? Well, we can see the default file system is NTFS. <coughs> now this should be named. New volume. I'm going to go ahead and name it, even though it doesn't say this in the lab. Win 10 VHDA. And then next. And then finish. Now we want to detached it, so we're going to right click on it, so it's been attached. Now we want to right click, oops, let's try here, left click, right click, detach VHD, and then go ahead and do OK, and then OK. <clears throat> okay, now it's been unattached. We're going to go back to action and we're going to attach and browse. We put it on our C drive. Why don't I see it? Cancel. Let's put the name C colon backslash win 10 vhda dot vhd 
and then okay. And there's our disk five. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and close out of this. And this is the lab, uh, this is the end of lab exercise 3.1. The next exercise will be working.